Hello students, let's take a look at the conjugations of ER verbs in the present tense. Here is the list of ER verbs in the infinitive. These are ER verbs because if you notice, the ending is ER. Here we have the ER endings for regular verbs. The letter O is for the job form. S is for the to form. E is for the he, she, usted form. Emos is for the we form. Ace is for the vosotros form, and N is for the day form or you all form. Remember, in Latin America, we use the EN for the day for you all form. So it goes like this. Attach the letter O to the stem of correr, which is C-O-R-R, -R, and you'll be saying I run. Attach the ES to the stem, and you'll be saying you run. Attach the E to the stem, and you'll be saying he runs, she runs, or usted runs. Attach the emos to the stem, and you'll be saying we run. And attach the en to the stem, and you'll be saying they all run, or you all run. Remember, corres means you all run, but we don't use it in Latin America. And this is what you do to conjugate an ER verb. ¿Qué comes? What do you eat? The ES ending attached to the stem of comer means you, you eat. Yo como una ensalada. The letter O attached to the stem of the verb comer represents I. So when I translate this to English, it will mean I eat. Julián come una, una manzana. The letter E attached to the stem of the verb command is representing a he, a she, or usted. In this example, it's a he. His name is Julian. Jorge y Ricardo comen una naranja. The E and attached to the stem represents more than one person, yourself not included. In my example, the people are Jorge and Ricardo, but it could be anybody. So this translates, Jorge and Ricardo eat an orange. So the endings are matching my subjects. To make it easy to understand, remember, the letter O equals I. Letters ES equals U. Letter E equals a he, or a she, or usted, which means you formal. The letters EMOS equals we. That means more than one person and I myself included. And then finally, the letters EN equals you all or they. In other words, more than one person, yourself not included. Now we're going to talk about IR verbs. IR verbs are verbs that their ending in the infinitive is IR. Here we have some examples. Escribir, insistir, subir, vivir, decir, descubrir, and asistir. Their conjugations are very similar to what you heard prior on ER verbs, only there is a few changes in the endings you're going to utilize. So these are the endings for IR verbs in the present tense. Notice they're very similar to the ER verbs, only the we form right here is emos and the vosotros form is is. Remember students, the vosotros form, all it means is you all. But in Latin America, for you all, we use third person plural, which is en. Escribo, I write. Escribes, you write. Escribe, he, she, or usted writes. Escribimos, we write. Escribís, you all write. And escriben, they write or you all write. The IR verb escribir in conversation. Escribes una carta? Do you write a letter? The ES attached to the stem of the verb escribir represents you. You write. No, no escribo una carta. No, I don't write a letter. The letter O attached to the stem of the verb escribir indicates I. I write. In this case, I don't write because I I have the word no in front of the verb. Mi amiga escribe una carta a su amigo. My friend writes a letter to her friend. The letter E attached to the stem indicates that it's either a he, 
a she or an usted writing. In this case, it's a girl because it's a specify here. My friend writes a letter to her friend. Pero yo no escribo una carta. Prefiero textear. But I don't write. I prefer to text. In here, the letter O represents I. I write. In this case, it's negative, so I have the don't. In Spanish, it's no. And this, has, this concludes the lesson for ER-IR verbs.